MK Party made an announcement about um, MK Party members being sown in Parliament. Well, I'm I'm definitely sure you really want to know when are they going to be sown. Now, to give a bit of a uh, look, a background on this one, uh, you will remember that uh, people were being sown uh, back in the days. You will remember that, right? So, as you remember that, MK Party did not participate in all of those shenanigans. They said, no, we will not participate. Uh, we will not participate in uh, look, we will not participate in the government that is there illegally. So later on, then they said, no, we will continue fighting this legal battle, but then we will then go back to court. Right? I mean, sorry, to, to parliament. So at that time where people were being sown to parliament, you will remember that again, we were told that no, just because they are not sown with the others, with, with the rest of the MPs, doesn't necessarily mean they will never they can never be sown. Arrangement can be made for them to be sown. We said, oh, okay. So arrangement can be made. They said, yes. So MK Party did wrote a letter a look, previously confirming that, yes, they will be going to parliament while they will proceed with the legal battle. Now, if you remember perfectly, uh, the electoral court has given them up to look uh, on the 27th. It's going to be the last day for them to to file an answering affidavit. Um, the IEC, their last day is going to be tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, the 25th. Yes, 25th. The, that's going to be their last day to f uh, file an, an, an answering affidavit to the first affidavit issued by MK Party. Then MK Party will then answer that affidavit that would have been issued by EI, I, look, EIEC. They are given up to the 22nd of June, the current month, to file that answering the affidavit. So this is to say, um, MK Party, just like they have confirmed, they had said that they are going to take legal actions against e look, the, 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 the rigging of votes. They are going to fight it, but they're going to do it the legal way, if you remember vividly. And so they are doing it as of now. They are doing it the legal way. So okay, with that being said, I said to myself, wait a minute. So when are they, when are they then, when are they then going to, oh, in fact, before we even get into this point, you will also remember in KZN, MK Party says we will be fighting also the the, the, the shenanigans that happened in KZN. So did they? They they look. They said that they will be launching again um, some legal what what in Dondon there, right? So in uh, look in 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 short and simple, MK Party they are continuously fighting this parliament, the provincial and also the national, but. Nationally, they were not participating. I mean, they were not participating. When are they going to participate? You ask me. Well, this and uh, this letter answers all of that. But also, we have good answers to our questions to say, when are we growing? This is how we're going to grow. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so let me then go through the letter here yeah, mk political party when where they were saying the following uh there's a media look at the written media statement dated 24th of june 2024 um look mk members to be sown in look to be sown in as uh, members of parliament 
MK Party is pleased to announce that uh, its 58 members, uh, members of parliament, will participate in the swearing, in, look, in the swearing in a ceremony, in a ceremony in parliament on the 25th of June, 2024. This follows a period of uh, critical reflection and strategic constitution within the party leadership. Subsequent to our initial boycott of the parliamentary sitting in the in protest against the rigged and fraudulent ele elections held on the 29th of May 2024. Speaking about this, I'm going to be going also uh, to uh, Judge Lope had commented about this issue. So when you see that video, Judge Lope, please note this, that commented about this, that the MK party were not in parliament. So Judge Lope had gone to convince the MK uh, party otherwise, and they were convinced, and then, yeah. So let's look at this. We wish to clarify that our decision to take the oath of office does not in any way signify an acceptance of, of the May election result. The MK party steadfast remains that the election, look, the, look wait, uh, the MK party steadfastly maintains that the elections were met by massive election irregularities, rigging and outright fraud. We, we, look, we are continuing to challenge this result through appropriate legal channels. Moreover, the MK party does not recognize the legitimacy of the of the previous uh, parliamentary sitting during which Ramaphosa of the uh, look at the, the DANC <laughs> it's called dance if you like it's DANC <laughs> but uh, you know you Angiti, when you spell Democratic Alliance, so you, the abbreviation is DA, and then you say ANC, it's ANC. So that, but then if you took the abbreviation of it, DA, you put them first, and then you you, you followed by the abbreviation of e ANC. It gives you dense, you know. But the dense is the dense at, 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 look, the, the the last letter is silent because it is DANC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it even even when I'm when I'm when I'm when I'm spelling it, it sounds like that. So they said the uh, the look at the Senator Ramaphosa of the D A A N C coalition was elected as the president. Um, we are actively pursuing legal avenues to have this sitting declared illegitimate, upholding the principle of democracy and justice as enshrined in Section forty six local bracket one of the Constitution. <laughs> uh, okay, that, that under the principled and unwavering leadership of former Judge uh, President Doctor uh, Ma no, Doctor Mazaga oh Doctor Mazaga yes eh? uh, sorry sorry guys under the under the the principle and the unwavering leadership of former Judge uh, President Doctor Mazaga yes eh? uh, uh, look John Slop our team is committed to tirelessly expose the the, the 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 covert operation at the DAANC coalition which we view as a pet project of white monopoly capital this treacherous and unholy coalition between Ramaphosa ANC and DA poses a significant threat to the hard and freedom of our people with the sole aim of uh, reinstate control over our national and its wealth to the historical oppressors and those who have monopolized our resources from colonial apartheid days, look at look, apartheid days to this day. Uh, right. And then they said, as our MPs takes their oath, we pledge to save South. Uh, we pledge to serve South Africa. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. As our as our MPs takes the oath, we pledge to serve to serve the people of South Africa with the utmost integrity. Resist the ongoing supervision of uh, democratic uh, wait of our democracy's processes, and continue our fight for true, free, and and an etiquette South Africa, local South Africa. 
a struggle for the uh, look for a struggle for the rebuilding of our society where for the first time blacks in general and africans in particular can fully and truly experience the fruit of the uh, of our freedom our parliamentary presence will be characterized by vigilant oversight robust engagement and steadfast commitment to the principles that uh, have guided our party since its inception it's not the end of the letter the end of the letter is yet to come then it says uh, so here guys that's when they break down the word d a a n c but if you take the a <laughs> you can see the marriage of the two right <laughs> so i need it's d a then that uh, that's abbreviation democratic alliance right and anc anc right african national congress so if you put those words together there's going to be double a but if you are saying they are married you remove one a you know you <laughs> do you get it <laughs> if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> they are saying we urge all south africans to reject this unholy danc coalition while um while maintaining vigilant and supportive to our effort to ensure that look at that they are as look at their inspiration and aspirations are not compromised by those intent or uh, relinquishing our um, our sovereignty wealth to former oppressors and white monopoly interest through uh, uh i can't say that word i'm gonna butcher that english word so before i i do that let me not even go there right so but again uh, that would have been the end of the let that's is actually the end of the letter not would have been um it, that's actually the end of the letter so uh what we what we do understand in what is being said here is the fact that uh the mk party that's number one they are indeed going to be sown in parliament it's a fact it's no longer a, a look a hearsay so they're going to be sown on the 25th of uh, on the 25th of of june 2024 uh, which is, as of me recording this video, is going to be tomorrow. That's the second thing. The third thing is, uh, what you get from the letter is that they are not in any way, shape or form surrendering. It's not a form of surrendering. It's a form of... Let, let, let me explain this way, right? Uh, PSL has got this rule. You will see how it relates to the MK party. PSL has got this rule, right? They've got funny rules, funny, 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 funny rules. So what happens is that uh, you can appeal, for instance, uh, uh, Royal AM was appealing against the PSL. Whilst you are appealing, you are also obligated to continue serving or continue with the playoffs. The very playoffs that you are appealing or, or, or look, you have taken it to with a legal review or whatever. Whilst you are doing that, you are obliged to, you are obliged to to you are obliged to continue play, doing those playoffs right pending the outcome which sometimes it's silly but actually yeah it's it's like uh, okay okay actually in look with this legal thing there are a lot of things that we can never understand why am i saying that is because um for instance, in the in this legal thing, there is a person working behind the scene called an attorney, who briefs the ad, an advocate. You pay when you must pay both of them. Do you get what, get what I'm trying to say? So the point I'm demonstrating is that we can never sit comfortably and say we know how this legal thing work. We need to uh, look. We 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 need to like as a general person, you will have to wait for somebody to advise you as how it works. So I will assume that. MK party came to a realization that no, whilst we are continuing to fight, we will also continue to we will also continue to to we will also continue to this thing there. Yeah? We'll also continue to engage in parliamentary processes, right? Uh, but again, at the same time, they haven't missed anything because the government of national confusion or government of national corruption, if you want whatever word you choose, 
it, it's not yet in full swing. The ministers have not yet been announced. So the government of national confusion is still uh, not in full swing itself. So it's not like indeed they've lost something or there's something precious during the absentia that they have lost. No, there's nothing, nothing of significant. So because of that, they still have a greater chance. Um, I mean, honestly speaking, they still have a greater chance to participate uh, fully in this um, seventh administration.